you've mentioned the word woke uh, a few times. Do you see a parallel between that and, say, in history, the rise of communism, fascism, authoritarianism? I know it seems extreme to draw these parallels sometimes, but are we heading back in that same direction, you think? Let me tell you a story which I think will, will illustrate this very well. Uh, my, my grandmother was... Um, she was one of the best students in her class uh, back in school. Um, she was what you'd call like a straight A student. Uh, she, she wanted to become a doctor. And when she got to apply to university to, to become a doctor and to study there, um, she was basically denied because her dad was an intellectual. He was a chemist. He was also anti-communist. And she didn't get to become a doctor. And she had to be, uh, she, she, I think she became a secretary instead um, for, for almost her whole life. So on the one hand, the best qualified person didn't become a doctor. I mean, I, I think you probably, when you want a doctor, you want the best qualified person to be treating you. And on the other hand, you have someone who's ambitious, who's clever, who wants to get somewhere in life. And you say, no, you can't do that because your parent um, disagreed with the political system that they're in. Um, I think for me, what's, what's really scary is I see the English speaking world going in that same direction. And, and it's, it's, it's insane, really. I can't believe that the, the, the countries that invented liberty, that invented even, you could almost say, democ democracy, um, are going in a direction where, where, where this type of story is, is becoming more and more common, I think, in the US as well and in the UK. And to me, who's, who's heard these stories from his grandparents, it's, it's ridiculous. And I, I think that's where my motivation comes from, to do something about this, because it's, it's, it's yeah, to me, it's, it's terrifying.